Hey everyone! It is Monday, December 18th, 2023, and this is something from Amazon. So this is a different video. It is an unboxing video, or box opening video, of a stroller. It is one that I saw several months ago, and I've been waiting for the price to drop and waiting for the chance to order it. Well, that chance finally arrived. So here it is. I just cut the top open. It is the baby tap. Oh boy. All right. I'm going to pause you. All right, everyone, it is out of the box. And I'm not. Maybe I won't have to put the wheels together. Maybe I won't have to put the wheels on. And pause you again. All right, we are back. This is a very nice stroller. And it is a little heavy. But not as heavy as what the harder one is. And I will explain all that in a little bit. Gotta put the wheels on. But this is really nice. What's that in the back there? Up in the top. No, there. Mesh. Oh, yeah, this is very nice. The basket. Ugh. Thank you up there. <laughs> As you can see, I'm like handing it candy store. <laughs> My new toy, but it's for the babies. All right, I'm gonna try and figure out how to put the wheels on. And I will be back in a little bit. Alright, everyone, we are back. And this stroller is the coolest thing ever. Seriously. Got the wheels on. Got the hand me down. And this you can tuck under if you don't need it. But this will be good for the summer. And I was trying to figure out how to recline the seat. These buttons here, you push them down on either side and the seat reclines. Look at that. Isn't that neat? And this new hickey here. <laughs> you have to push down, and then push that up. It's hard to open it, though, to press the bars down. But I think once you use it out after a while, it should be easier. Yeah. And then there's a mesh thing here. And then if you want to put this back up, and then put this down here, and these snap into here but yeah it's really neat can't wait to use this um there's a hairy handle here and then this is the lock and when you fold it up, it goes all over top of this one here. We have the star foam or whatever you want to call, call this on the sides. Because the only way you can take these off is to cut them. But we thought maybe it'd be better to keep them on, you know, to protect the, the metal that's used there. But yeah, this is going to come in handy for our vacations. 
And I think this is actually a better investment than the um, travel system that I wanted. I mean, I still think for some trips, the travel system is the best way to go. But price-wise, this is a better investment. Now, the harder stroller that I thought it would be two years in January, I am retiring that stroller. Um, I'm going to still keep it. I'm just not going to be using it because it's too heavy. And this stroller is more lightweight. And to get on the transit bus with the harder stroller is just it's too hard because most of the time I can't hold the baby that I have and carry that stroller up on the bus. So most of the time mom holds the baby, I take the stroller on the bus. So yeah, this is to be a lot easier. And then this is the organizer that comes with it. In the pictures online it looks really thin but it's not. It's like insulated. It's like really, it's really good. There's a place for the drinks. There's an outside zipper pocket here to put some stuff in. Um, I'm going to take stuff off the harder stroller. The mesh side bags I'm going to put on this stroller and even the organizer that I have on that stroller I'm going to put underneath this one so that there's more storage I don't know how that's going to work but I'm going to try it now this on the other hand getting these undone let's see if I can do this alright Nah, that's gonna be a little tough. I'm not, ah, there we go. There's one. Ah, there's the other. The seat is nice and comfortable. You know, it's padded. You know, some strollers you have to really put extra padding in with. I'm still using, going to be using the Winnie the Pooh umbrella stroller, mainly for Ethan, but I don't know. He might not be too small in this stroller. Yeah, maybe not. But I think it would keep me, you know, still using the Pooh stroller for him because he's so tiny. Because I thought, you know, when you look at pictures online, they look bigger than they are. Um... But he might not be too small for this one. So we'll have to wait and see on that one. But yeah. And I'm not getting rid of the poo stroller either. Eventually when we can move out of here. And get our own place again. And I can have a nursery. I plan on having the Winnie the Pooh umbrella stroller. And the Harder's umbrella stroller. Um, as part of the nursery decor. Like just have it on display only. Um... That is what I definitely plan on doing. But I wanted a universal stroller that I wouldn't have to keep switching. That is what I was looking at. Um, and to travel with the babies, we have so many different ideas depending on which uh, trip it would be. And I don't know, you just have to... Try and figure it out. We want to make sure that there's less baggage and less of a hassle. Um, especially with transfers because we will be traveling by bus. And I was looking at the fact of a travel system because there's no hassle. You keep the baby in the car seat and then you open the stroller and you plop the car seat in and there's no hassle. Whereas, doing it this way, there's kind of a hassle. Um, 
you know, with having to mess with the the straps and everything and undo them and all that. But uh we have another another idea that we are working on doing with this thriller instead of taking a car seat for the baby to be on the bus. Um and I will share that info at a later date. Because we don't have that other thing that we would be using with us. But anyway. Like I said. I, I love it. I seriously love it. It is so nice. So I will show you the babies. We have one more thing coming from Amazon yet. And this is the bag that I bought. I think. Was it November that I bought it? Or October? I lost Tom's for $2. All the baby's birth uh, yeah, birthday presents. Christmas presents are in here. There's one more thing to put in, the, in that bag. And I'll, I'll be wrapping the presents up sometime this week. And that reminds me, I want to add, this thriller is part of their Christmas present, too. Um, the trip to Cape May that we took in June with Bella, that is part of her birthday and Christmas. When we take a baby on a trip, that's part of their birthday or Christmas, depending on what time of the year it is. So, anyway, enough of me rambling. Let me show you the babies. There's Abby. Yeah, Abby girl. Here is Isaiah. And little Eden. And Bella and Ethan. Say hi everyone. Thank you for watching. Say thank you for watching our new stroller. Say there's a lot more adventures to come. And I am really excited for for that. Now more than anything. Now that we have a decent stroller and a decent plan that hopefully will work. Um, like I said, try to take less baggage when we travel. Because no matter what trip we go on, we always pack way too much. Way too much. Um, but, yeah. That's just how, how we always been. So we're trying to figure out how to be more travel size, more or less. If that makes any sense. But anyway, thank you all for watching and subscribing and all the new subscribers. And we will see you probably later this week. So, bye everyone. Good night.